Welcome to my next Let's Play. I will be starting Fallout New Vegas. This is the first Fallout game I've played. It's not the first Bethesda game I've played. I played all the way through Oblivion, uh, full completion, did all the story... Uh, no, by, by no means do I really mean full completion. But uh, I did all of the uh, faction quests and uh, the downloadable content. Uh, I definitely didn't finish all the side quests. So I'm familiar with this, um, these types of games, but I'm not familiar with this setting, really, except for popular culture. changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling, must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Okay, so I assume now I'm going to design my character, assign attributes, uh, all of that jazz. I installed the game on my hard drive, so hopefully it should run a little faster. 
And I'm guessing... Yeah, we've got lots of DLC to load. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? It's interesting. Can you tell me your name. It's interesting that the character models look better here rendered in the game than they do in that uh, cutscene. All right, so. What should I make my name? I'm going to make my name Andrew. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, nice to meet you. I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Uh... Looks like you left a lot out of place. No, I'll make my guy a man. Caucasian. Okay, we'll start with preset 9, and we will customize. Uh, we won't change weight. How about, can I, okay, I can move that around. Let's change the eyes. Oh, we want color. Don't want shape. Eye color, here we go. Dark brown. Skin tone, that's fine, whatever. Um, I don't even know what this is. I can't even tell what that's changing. I don't know. Guy seems okay. You spend most of the game not looking at him anyway. So, I mean... Not really that... Not really that picky. Age him a little bit. Why does he turn yellow when he gets older? Give him a drinking problem? Alright, this is actually more customized. If you look at it from that angle, it looks like he has a really pointy head. But if you look at it from there, it just looks rounded. Funny. Alright, I think we're just going to go with that. And we're gonna have to make it darker. That's brown? That's brown? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? That is not brown. Neither is that chocolate. Jeez.
Alright, absolutely none of those are normal colors. This is the farthest thing from brown I think you could get. It's grayish purple. I don't know. Could just give him crazy hair. I don't know how you get um, brown with the colors of light. Alright, let's look at what brown says. 55, 55, 55, or roughly. So let's make them all kind of around there. That's green. Oh well, screw it. That isn't chocolate. I guess we're going with brown for what they say is brown. Uh, facial hair. I don't like that haircut. Boy, they have a lot of different customizations here. Eh, I'll go with that one. Eh, we'll stick with that. We are going to stick with this. This looks good enough. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Okay, thank you, Doc Mitchell. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. You're looking good so far. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Alright, so here we go. We are going to customize. So it looks like it starts you with some average stats and you can uh, increase them if you want. Let's leave. Alright, let's just change the stats a little bit. Here we go. Perception. Explosives, lockpick, energy weapons. Accuracy. Accuracy's good. Melee, unarmed, uh, not so much. Inventory weight is something I loved in Oblivion. I always made my guy stronger because I would pick up everything and have the feather spell permanently on one of my quick spells. Uh, what else have we got? Endurance, unarmed, health, resistance, survival, charisma? Science, repair, medicine, skill points. What... Do you get more points if you get more intelligence? Uh, agility seems good. Regeneration. Luck. I never really upgrade my luck. But let's go ahead and... Uh, let's upgrade... Agility. Intelligence. Perception. I don't want to put it like one across the board. Yeah, we'll just make agility seven there. Okay, so that is the stat distribution. I increased perception, 
Intelligence and agility. All right. Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn and drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Sit on ruined couch. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. Dog. Cat. House. It's door. Uh. Guess I'm going to have to actually read this. So, uh, shelter. Night. Day. Night treasure? How, how are those connected? Sleep. Bandit. <laughs> Swiss cheese. Vaporize. Light. Dark. Mother. Father. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Um... Okay. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Sure. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Alright. I'm always fixing to be Disagree. the center of attention. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Disagree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Uh, I'm not really seeing any of those there. Uh, more than something else? I guess I see... I don't, I don't see the second head on the ant. I have to say a broken chain. Okay. Um, How about this one? Space age technology is what I see in that. Last one. Two people talking. Nope, I don't see that. Um, mushroom cloud? Yeah, I kind of see that. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. I'm just going to take the stat distribution and we'll play it. We'll just see how it goes. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. What good is getting the, the form to get a history after you've done the medical procedure? Alright, two traits. Built to destroy? Claustrophobia? This is, seems a lot more involved than Oblivion. Mm, I don't like the penalty there. No. So you have to wear glasses there, and you get an extra perception. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. That might be good for me. I don't know. I 
I don't know what damage threshold means. Hmm. Maybe that would be a good one there. You gain plus 5 points to every skill, but you suffer minus 10% from experience gained. So it would take me longer to level up, but I'd get extra... Um... Yeah, it would take me longer to level up, but I'd get extra points in every skill. I kind of like that one. Might come back to that. I like that, I think. Especially since my guy seems to be specializing in energy weapons. Alright, so this is like the I would have been your daddy skull on Halo, maybe? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that one. I'm gonna do uh, skilled and trigger discipline. Alright, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Can I have some pants? Why did you have to take my pants off to operate on my brain? Just give me my clothes so I can get out of here. Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. Okay. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack of modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. I'll do my best. Hardcore mode. Yeah, I'm not going to activate hardcore mode. I've never even played one of these games. Okay, so it looks like I need to talk to Sunny Smiles at the saloon. I feel like I might... Well, I don't know. I'm trying to decide whether I want to change the look sensitivity or not. But, first of all, I need to put some pants on. So, how do I do that? Alright, so we've got damage, DPS. You have to be strong and skilled enough to use your weapons. Weapons have condition. Okay, that's just like oblivion. Alright. Boy, this is kind of hard to, for me to figure out. Apparel, here we go. Damage threshold. Damage threshold is the sum of all damage threshold for currently equipped apparel, plus any bonuses from perks or chems. Alright, so I guess it means that's how much damage I can block. Apparel has condition. Okay. So, I guess we already put on the uh, jumpsuit. 
There. Off. On. What is this stuff? I've got special armor. And I'm already... It's already taking up weight? That's hardly fair. Armored Vault 13 jumpsuit. Why is it worth... Why is it worth 70 and this one's worth... Oh, that's worth 6. Which one's worth the most? Lightweight metal armor. Jeez. Agility minus 1. Damage threshold 4. I think I want one of the ones with 8. I'll do Armored Vault 13 jumpsuit. I'm going to wear that. I guess I have this because of the DLC. Ammunition. Alright, lots of information here. Armor piercing. Overcharge. Shotgun slugs. Alright, can I equip a weapon? I guess I would do that through here too. Weapons. Here we go. Why are binoculars under weapons? You can have a machete, laser pistol, grenade rifle. Jeez, some of this stuff's weird. Throwing spears? 10 millimeter pistol. Laser pistol. It's in bad shape. How do I pull it out? That jumps. A interacts with stuff. B brings up the pip boy. Maybe I can't. Oh! Hello. Maybe I can't pull it out while I am here in this house. Am I stealing if I take that? Broken 9mm machine gun. Empty bottle, sunset sarsaparilla? Alright, I stole your, your drink there. I expect you'll be wanting to go outside after being cooped up. <laughs> I don't have the appropriate speech skill to uh, be smart like that. All right, tell me about yourself, well, Doc. Well, I already told you I came from a vault. After that, I was a traveling doctor for a spell. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people with medical know-how are hard to come by. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. Eventually, I went back and married my childhood sweetheart, and that was the end of my traveling days. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. Uh, this here's Good Springs. Good Springs. Named after the water we got here, just down the road to the southeast. Good Springs Source, they call it. It's a quiet town, and that's how we like it. We don't go looking for trouble, though occasionally it sees fit to come looking for us. Uh, that'd be Victor. Victor, Curious the metal thought. fellow. He's sort of odd, and I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. He's real friendly, don't get me wrong. You just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. Just a feeling. So? He keeps to himself, mostly. You want to know more about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. Okay, so the robots have their own places here. I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Your best bet would probably be Trudy, the bartender at the saloon up the road. If anyone saw anything, she'd know about it. Okay. I think that's it. You take care now. So we're looking for Trudy and Sunny, I believe? Was the other person at the uh, saloon? Is there anything else here in this house? You take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. So it does that automatically. Interesting. 
I guess if you're playing in hardcore mode where you turn off the, uh, the water, or I guess where you uh, can be dehydrated. Pre-war relaxed wear. I don't think that's worth taking. I guess we're gonna leave. Here we go, we're opening the door to Good Springs.